Start it. What a punk. Go. <laughs> Welcome back to Dustin talking shit. <laughs> wow. This jerk. He, he, tri- he tried to time the welcome back, and I heard it and held off on hitting the record button. He did, because that's Keith. Yeah. And and he's music, and I'm bourbon. And this is an other Dustin bribe. So he keeps sending bottles that tend to elevate him to original Dustin. Can we call you Dusty? <laughs> Let us know. I'll be Dustin. You can be Dusty. So, um... A little dust on the bottle. See what I did there? Th- this is, uh, yeah. <laughs> this has, I've got high hopes for this, and I'll why tell is, you why. Why is that? Because we have had a vine and table here in Carmel, Indiana. Barrel pick. Barrel pick Whoa. of Fort Hamilton that is just straight from the gods. It's amazing. You guys it, saw us do it. It was with the, uh, what was that chick's name? The Sugarland chick. Nettles. Jennifer Nettles, yeah. Yeah, it was her stuck on, stuck glue stuck, stuck like glue yeah yeah that's it was, yeah it was the stage five clinger yeah chick. yeah we had it on that reaction and amazing <sighs> we've actually gone back and bought bottles of it out of grab pocket my, multiple times go grab my bottle real quick no just to prove it oh no that's a, don't literally, they believe i literally it's right there it's sitting back there he bought yeah. one today today because it's so, that good so we haven't had this but f- since it's from the same distiller, that's what, double barrel? Double barrel, yeah. A blend of straight rye whiskeys. Ooh, I like rye too. So that other one was a rye too. A delicious, really delicious rye. Listen to that glug glug. Yeah. Okay, so this is Dusty's song, if you'll let, him, let us call him that. It's Dustin's song. What, what, uh, what song is it? It is Larry Fleet, Where I Find God. That's an interesting concept. Yeah. So let's hear what Larry Fleet has to say about it. I've never even heard of Larry Fleet. Me either. Okay. A cool logo. I guess, is that, would that be on his album cover then, or single? Look like a bus manufacturer logo to me. But it, but the way it had where I found God underneath of it. Oh, did it? Yeah, it looked like it would be like a single or. Oh a, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this it, is the title. Maybe track. this. Yeah, maybe it's the title track. A bus logo. <laughs> I can see it. Tell me I'm wrong. No, I can see it. Looks like a lake I've been on in Georgia. Like for real. I don't know if it is. The night I hit rock bottom. That looks like Georgia. It does. He paid my tab and put me in a cab. But he didn't have to. He could see I was hurting. Oh, I wish I got his name. Dude, this guy's got some pies. I didn't feel worth saving. Can we start it over? Sure. What? Just start it over. Particular. I was reason? distracted by the scenery too much. Oh yeah. I don't and, wanna... uh, you need to kind of forget about yeah, the yeah, video yeah. and yeah, take yeah. A, listen to this yeah. music. And hit rock bottom. Sitting on an old bar stool. He paid my tab and put me in a cab. He could see I was hurting. Oh, I wish I'd got his name. Cause I didn't feel worth saving. But he saved me just the same. That's never happened. I put my pole down, I float around. Yep. It was just so quiet. Yep. And I could hear my old man saying, son, just be still. Yep. She can't find peace like this. And a bottle, Lord, pill. Honestly, that's 
the God truth. Yep. Let him get salmonella once or twice, he'll learn. the message of this song figured out before it even started yeah i i had a it, the guess was in my head hmm. and uh i started enumerating the places and situations for me that kind of give you that yeah and then well some of them were similar to his uh-huh. like dude we've been on, the on these rivers on the kayaks <laughs> but the fish aren't biting well even even when they are well, for you. Yeah, well. <laughs> Keith steals all the fish. Yeah, I kind of do. But uh, you just stop paddling sometimes and just take it in. Just like lean back and just like. Lean back in your seat on the kayak and just dang. take it in. And you know what a lot of people these days do wrong? What's that? And I do it to an extent. But I'm, I'm very aware some people don't actually capture the moment in their memory they're trying to take too many damn pictures of it yeah right my phone never comes out man i just stop yeah and that's part of the reason i do it because i like to capture the memories yeah right but you got to also experience them yeah that's important so that's one example yeah another riding down uh Route 92 in nowhere, West Virginia, in the mountains on a bike. Uh, let me tell you, you start looking left and right, and it can happen there. And believe it or not, the braking zone into turn one at various racing tracks. Because hmm. the focus levels yeah. are ridiculous, and it's a similar zen. Hmm. And, uh, yeah. And you might, if your brakes fail, you might get to meet the guy in a couple of seconds. <laughs> Hopefully not. Don't, don't even put that juju out in the world, man. 
It is known. <laughs> God. So what about, there's another one that he said that you and I have both experienced in different places in different ways. Just sitting out in the middle of the woods. Oh, yeah, hunting. Dude. Or not even just hiking or just whatever damn reason put you out there. Yeah. Sit down at the base of a big-ass oak tree and just, and just take it in. Yeah, just sit there. Yeah, people need don't, to do... Don't, put up, don't bring your phone up when you're sitting there. Like, leave it in your fucking pocket or in the car. Right? Because if you're not experiencing it, you're missing out. Yeah, well, that thing you mentioned about wanting to document it. Yeah. That's not even for them. That's so they can throw it out in social media. Sure. And say, look what I... And the, the, all that motivation is just wrong. I like to create, like, collages and stuff that I will go back and look at. Right, to help you remind. Yeah. But 90% of the people sitting at that oak tree... Look what I did. Going to take a picture and then throw it up on, on Insta or Facebook. And that's not or, experience in the moment. And, and that's just... It's a weird kind of, of bragging, right? Yeah. That's all it is, which is could largely be said about almost all social media. And True. Maybe to include YouTube and Goofy Bourbon channels. Anyway. No, that can't be. No. That can't be. That's, you see you jump the shark right there. You just, we were there, and then you... I never do that. False. So, this dude reminds me of Usre, who we really like. We've never heard this guy before. But he seems more... Less raw. Let the... Excuse me. The engineering in the songs way less raw. There were more instruments. Usre just stands there with a guitar. True that. Right. True. Um, I don't think the power of his vocal delivery was as high as Usre. The 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 yeah. But it was more refined, more controlled, in in a way more mature, as a vocalist. Uh, Usre just clobbers you. Yeah. Right, but I kind of like it. I think most people like it. <laughs> okay, Th- this is just a little more, more mainstream, a little more mainstream, a little more refined, a little more practiced, yeah. a little more nuanced. Okay, Usra is just raw, and you feel it. You're you're in a boxing match with that song, right? <laughs> How many punches can you take before you go down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, what do you think of this Fort Hamilton? I have mixed reactions. So my first taste, I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Keith's class. And as I kept drinking, I was like, it's okay. That's kind of where I am. Yeah. Uh, it does not compare to that vine and table barrel pick. Nope, it doesn't. It's like not even on the same. It's got a ton of oak. It does have a ton of oak on the on your initial. It's got like some lemon that hits you. Yeah, some citrus of some kind. I don't know that because it's not really sour. It's like a. It's definitely a citrus. Maybe a lime. I'm gonna stick to lemon. I'm getting sour right down the center of my tongue. I get lime, so maybe lemon lime. And because it's more bitter, and then it just kind of rolls the oak rolls in very quickly. Yep, um, rye pepper, yeah, and that's kind of it, right? So, a little bit of corn sweetness in there as the finish sits. That pepper really comes out, it comes out, the oak comes out, and it the, actually, the finish that's that's an interesting observation. So, the finish stays for a while, mm. which is cool. This It'll is like slow you down, yeah. Uh, it's a good end of night kind of drink, drink. Um, but if you let it sit there long enough, like kind of some chocolatey notes roll in. I can see that, and it's it's almost like it's weird, because the way my brain did it, it's like there's two pieces of wood in your mouth, and in between them is chocolate. <laughs> it's a white oak s'more. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, this is aged at least two years. Okay. Is what it says on here. Uh, this is batch number two. 
Um, this is a fifth, by the way. It's not a 750. Well, it is a 750. I think they have to put that on there. That's... But they put one, actually, one fifth of a there gallon. Ha- is there a decimal there? What? Because one fifth of a gallon, I was just looking this up today yeah. for cat. Yeah. Is 757 milliliters. So they're lying. They're lying. One of these is wrong. They're lying by seven millimeter milliliters in one direction or the other. You bastards. <laughs> Um, I mean, seven cc's is like... Huh. Well, I guess we kind of knew that. Distilled in New York and Indiana. So this is a blend. Bottled by Alex Clark Spirits in Brooklyn. New York stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So master distiller slash blender slash whatever your title is at Fort Hamilton. Go find whatever you sold vine and table in the barrel pick and use that as the basis for everything else you do. Exactly everything. <laughs> What's that? I can't read it. It says, Hearts of Oak, which is the name of this bottle. Liberty or Death? New York. Clearly not from the city. <laughs> Clearly not from the city. <laughs> Uh, all right. So, I, I mean, I'd probably pay 45 bucks for this. I mean, that's okay. 40 bucks. I'd say 36 to $40. All right, I'd agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not stellar, not bad. Um, Dusty, you can tell us what you paid. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if Drop you don't down. like being called that, I'll fix it later. <laughs> can't fix it we don't edit right i mean in other videos oh but this one will you'll forever be dusty in i think he said in the comments his family calls him that so he's cool with it well then we're family (laughs) welcome to the family (laughs) all right go ahead and subscribe to the channel drop down in the comments uh tell us what country music we need to check out tell us what north american whiskeys we need to try and we'll see you next time see you